Did you hear that? Okay, you have back pain all the time. Yeah, but not from now on, I see like there's no back pain. But now I feel like I'm... The tired. weakness is on the, on the leg? Yeah. Okay. So um, you, spin, you, you told me that going going for about how many years now? Like I had the back surgery was like 2010. Okay, so about 12 years. Yeah. And then you also told me you also have a groin pain on the right hip, like a groin pain on the uh, yeah, inside. Right hip, yes. Right hip, yeah. So that's actually always there, and that's actually yes. okay. It's like bothering me every time. Bothering you every like, time. Like let's say if I want to like run. Okay. So I, sometimes I feel like uh, nervous to run because I, I feel like I'm gonna fall. Okay. And then uh, sometimes it's like so much pain that I don't have energy to like do anything. Okay. Um, and then you obviously have foot pain because you yeah. came to see me for foot pain. Yeah, recently I got the foot pain too. Okay. I start, I start like from now on, it feels like it's taking over the right leg, yes. like the pain. So I want to be able to ask you just one more thing. So you know that this has been ongoing problem for such many years. Yeah. So you are, without giving out too much details, you're in your mid-20s, which means that if you had this surgery when you were 12, 13 years old, since you were a teenage, you've been having this kind of pain growing yeah. up. So, so the pain goes from your groin area, comes down, and then comes all the way down here like this. Am I correct? Yeah, and over here too. Okay, so everything starts from your kind of right hip area. Yes. Coincidentally, that's, why, that's where I actually found your problem. At mid-20s, you are as healthy as you should be and in your age right yeah. now, right? Nothing about your thighs should be different. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. All your strength, all your muscles, it should be uh, the same, right? It, it should be more or less the same. Having said that, since you have a lot of right thigh pain, if you have a right thigh problem causing right thigh pain, your right thigh should be smaller, weaker, and more flaccid. Does that make the muscle should be much more flaccid? Yeah. Right? That means that you have a right thigh problem and that's causing you to have this kind of pain. Does it make sense to yes. you? Yes. In any event that this is actually much bigger, much stronger, things like this, it's not coming from the right thigh. You understand it, right? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Your right thigh comes out at, I don't know if you can tell. It's uh, 19. Point, point five? Seven. Seven? Yes. Okay. Nineteen point seven. So this should be more or less around the same area. I yeah. have no idea what it's going to be, but it should yeah. better be something similar to that. But I'll go ahead and do it so you'll get to see a little better. It's eighteen. No. This is right here. Oh, exactly. It's 19. nineteen. So it's bigger. Nineteen point five. The right side. Right side is bigger. Which makes no sense. I told you, yeah. this is supposed to be smaller because you've been having this pain for almost 12 years now, right? Yeah. And if I press down the uh, muscles, this is actually more flaccid. Your left side, feel it. Don't trust what I say, feel it. Yeah. This is more flaccid. This is like, feels like a bubble. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a little bit more strong. Yeah. This, this feels more weak. Yes. This feels more flaccid, this feels more rigid. Which means that this is paining, but this is stronger, which makes no sense. I'm going to go ahead and do the calf size too. Sure. If you do have a right leg problem, right thigh problem, this should be smaller and weaker at the same time. We'll see if that's a it we'll see if that's the case. Without further ado, what does it say? It's 17.6. 6. 6 or 7, okay? So it should be somewhere around there, maybe point point one point two differences. Yeah. Something along that line to be able to see the differences. Oh boy. What does it say over here? It's 16, 19. 16.7. So you have a one inch of a muscle that is actually small over here. Yeah. And, if, and this is stronger looking than this one. So wait, hold up. You have a right thigh pain. You have a right thigh pain that is uh, making you not be able to do sit up, cannot run, cannot walk, cannot do work. All because of this, if you have right thigh problem, this should be smaller, weaker, more flaccid, unstable. But left side is all that, which makes no sense. Yes. Which makes absolutely no sense. Yes. You know why? Because what does that tell you? It's not right thigh problem. It really isn't. It's the it, so, so, so why did it actually, if, it could be your left side thigh problem. It could be. Or could be something else above your thigh. It's area. like not passing like more information to that, and it's passing the more information over there. 
But but what's called what's controlling your right thigh and your left thigh and right leg and yes. So more likely than not, it's coming from your back. Yes. Does it make sense? Yes. That's the reason why I told you before you even did anything. I told you yesterday. Hey, listen. Most likely, your foot pain is coming from your back. That's the reason why I should say this. You said your pain is around this area, right? Yes. Your right hip. Yes. This right hip pain um, around this area, all this that I actually see here right now, you think is fat, but it's not. It's actually edema, swelling. So your entire right leg area is actually swollen because of the problem right here. Your entire right lower back and mid back, it's, you see how rigid this feels? Yes. It's because something here is not right. And all this has a swollen over here. Okay, so this is your spine. This is yes. your spine from front to front to back. This is your head, this is your pelvis. This is your x-ray from side to side. Number one thing is that you have a lot of Swings, swings on your lower back area. Hey, what are the swings? There's a lot of curvatures right here. Curvature. There's a lot of, there's just way too much curvatures on your lower back. And suddenly the curvature stops right here. Yeah. And But there's you still have good curvatures over here. But curvatures are really big, not so big. Like uh, around the 10, number 10 area, there's like a lot of it. I yeah, see before it. the 10, there's a lot of curvature. You, you even see it too. There's, there's a little bit. It's only a little bit, there's a lot on the lower back area. So I want to be able to ask you, why do you think you have a lot of curvatures on your lower back, but everything else is pretty much normal? The, the reason why it's happening is because something's not stable over here. Why? Something is not really pulling your body into the right places. That's, you have such a big curvatures and big swings over here. And then you and I both know, this is where you had a lot of pain um, to your right hips. So your entire body has rotated like this. Your entire body has rotated here like this. So that actually has been pulling your entire, because all the muscles, right, all the bones here attach the muscles down to your in, down to your Achilles. So when you go when you go here like this, everything gets rotated. That's the reason why you get the pain right here. Did you also know that you are completely lean toward one side? Turn around. I feel like yeah. you you feel that too, right? You're actually leaning toward the left side completely yes. because your right side is not moving at all. Walk again. Pain right here, yes? Yes. Right here, yes? Yes. Let your belly down more. Let your belly down more. Let it down. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. How much, 0 to 100%, how much improvement do you feel? I feel like uh, I lose the pain. It's like there's like 80, like. Or 30 per, 30% left. 30 per, only 30% left? 20%. 20% left. Relax your belly. Great. Just like this. You do not need to move, okay? Ah, I feel too left. Okay. Walk around for me. Ah. Ah. You heard that too? Now walk around for me, please. Sure. So what's the difference now? Way better. Okay, walk around, walk. You're actually moving your arms now. You have arm swing. Go ahead and walk more, yeah. please. You were not moving your arms before. You're not thinking yeah. about your arms when you're walking. But you're actually having your arm swing. Walk around. Okay, you can just stop. Okay, turn around. <laughs> you can actually um, go ahead and tell me how much of a foot pain do you have right now? I feel like not. Okay, how about your thigh pain? Thigh pain is like, it's like gibberish. Like gibberish now? Yeah. Move your, move your hip around, see how that feels like. Zero to 100%, how much better do you feel? I feel like 95. 95%, wow. How does it...